Today I'm going to introduce you to two new compounds, rum ether and popcorn pyrazine. And obviously by the names of them, we're going to talk about rum and popcorn. Now there's a reason for it, and that's because I like to build off previous videos so that you're not constantly buying a whole set of new compounds. So in the previous video, we talked about artificial vanilla extract, and there was a recipe for military grade vanilla, tactical vanilla that used ethyl vanillin, vanillin, and dihydrocoumarin. And if we just add these two ingredients, so ethyl ether and popcorn pyrazine, also known as 2-acetyl pyrazine, we're gonna end up with actual a cake flavor. And by cake flavor, I mean if you buy vanilla cake icing at the store, it has a very distinct flavor. It's not quite vanilla, there's something more to it. You may have passed it around in college eating it by a spoon, passing other things around. But this is that exact flavor. Now in Canada, there's a large donut company that sells you know, Timbits that have a cake flavor. It's that flavor too. And you can use this in cocktails. So if you wanna make a more sophisticated birthday martini, though I do recommend a more sophisticated birthday daiquiri because of the rum element, uh, you can do that without whipped cream and sprinkles. You, know, you can skip that part. But you can also use it in baking. So you can add it to your you know, if you're making homemade icing, you can add this, whether you're a restaurant or at home, because we're just going to make it in a bottle and you use it at two to 10 drops per liter. So two, to, two drops in you know, a, a drink or 10 drops in a liter. And then that just imparts this cool, interesting flavor. Now rum is obviously that rum flavor, but uh, two acetyl pyrazine goes by the name of popcorn pyrazine because it really does have a popcorn element to it. And that just comes from anything natural has amino acids in it. So when you apply heat, uh, there's a process, uh, Maillard reactions that create these toasty or burnt notes or cooked notes. And when you pop popcorn, you're obviously doing that. And so you get these types of flavors. Now, you use these at really low levels, but they really do impart like a very interesting flavor. So if you've ever seen some commercial syrups that are popcorn syrup, uh, this is what they're using. So super basic recipe, only five ingredients plus the solvent. And today I'm just using, this is my made up solvent of one bottle, 750 ml bottle of vodka, and then 250 mils of propylene glycol. And that will easily dissolve our flavor compounds. Cause we're gonna use a lot of them because vanilla tends to be used in a high amount and then we're gonna use less of these. But, you know, rum ether, uh, it's a fun ingredient. You can get it in small bottles too. I bought this like 10 years ago, or maybe 15 years ago, and slowly working my way through it. But it, you can use it in a lot of different things. So let me show you how this is done because it does make a really interesting flavor. So the basic equipment is just your cheap $20 balance that goes to two digits, so 0, 0.00, and a stir plate. Again, you don't need a stir plate, they just make life really easy. And the first thing we're gonna work with is 2-acetyl pyrazine or popcorn pyrazine. Uh, this comes in powder form. You can get dilutions of it, but you'd need to use, this is a 5% dilution, you need a lot more. And it has a very distinct toasted peanut flavor at high concentration. So, but once you dilute it down, it gets into that popcorn flavor, but we need one gram of this. Always clean your equipment before you put anything else in. Next, we're gonna use ethyl vanillin and we're gonna need four grams of this. And then next, we're gonna need 16 grams of vanillin. And yes, it's a lot, but we're using this in like two drops to three drops per drink. So it needs to be fairly concentrated and vanillin tends to work in higher concentrations, but we need 16 grams. So you may see that we're using a lot of vanillin, but the economics of this are really good because you're only using about two to three dollars worth of vanilla, depending on how much you buy it. But you're gonna be able to make 200 to 400 liters of cake flavored drinks with this because it, it's, you're using it in such small amounts. You're using two to three drops per drink. It may seem like a lot to start, but this is gonna last you a long time. Now, finally, we're going to need two grams of dihydrocoumarin. 
So this is a liquid, so we'll use a dropper. And lastly, we're going to need our rum ether, and I am going to use eight grams of this. Now I use a separate beaker to weigh out 69 grams, just because I don't think the scale can handle more than uh, the total weight of this formula. So we're just going to weigh out 69 grams. And if you go over, because it's pure and clean, you can just remove it. And then all you do is combine these, try to get as much of it out as possible. And then you just put this on a stir plate to stir, and it'll take a few minutes at room temperature to get this going. It can take like up to 15, 20 minutes if it's particularly cold. You can also warm this up to like 25 degrees room temperature and it will dissolve quicker. But then what you end up with is this cake flavor. Now to test your workout, really simple. You take your basic taster, which is just a 10% solution of sugar and water, and you add 100 mils to a beaker, or roughly 100 mils. I went over there, but again, it doesn't really matter for tasting stuff. You know, you wanna add a magnetic stir. Again, you can hand or handshake or stir this, but once you start using a stir, you're not gonna go back. But, uh, then you take your, pre your flavor, that would be this one that I took off the stir, and you add two drops to start. And that will give you a starting point. You can add more. Turn this down because it's a little noisy. Now that's stirred for a little bit. You just take a, you just sip right out of the beaker if you want, or take a, and yeah, it's cake flavor. It, it's that flavor. The, the closest I can describe it is the, the icing you buy in a can at the grocery store. It, it does have that distinct, interesting flavor. So if you're a baker and you're looking to compete, this is the stuff you want to make. And you would just add, you know, 10 drops, 10 to 20 drops per kilo of icing. And that's basically how it works. And then for a standard drink, so let's say you're making a birthday daiquiri, you just add two drops of your concentrate, put it in a shaker and shake it up. And then that would be the starting point. Test it out. You're probably with alcoholic drinks, you're going to need, you know, four to six drops. Alcoholic drinks always need more flavor. So now that's your starting point, but you can take your formula that you made and you can add things to it and you know, enhance the flavor. So one of the ones that you would add is a buttery flavor. So you can use diacetyl or acetoin. I recommend either or, but dilute your acetyl if you have it. I've used it in previous formulas, but you know, acetoin is going to give you that kind of buttery flavor. So I just, you can add two drops, you can add you know, more, but it's something you play with to enhance the flavor. Now, since we used rum ether, you can also add a little bit of whiskey lactone, and that will kind of give some of the uh, whiskey notes. It's more coconut vanilla, but it will pair well with this. So, you know, maybe five drops, six drops, and that will kind of give you more depth without being out outside of the range of the vanilla flavor. And if you really want to get interesting, this is CO2 extracted butter. I talked about it in the previous video, but if you want a real all natural butter flavor, uh, this is the way to go. And you can also use uh, rum extract. This is made by Maine and it is super expensive, but it's the best smelling rum extract. This is a 10% solution, but it is fantastic. If you're a fan of rum, you have a, you know, a big bank account, this is the stuff to get. This is a 10% dilution for 15 mils, and I think it costs about $50. But it, it smells fantastic, and got to use it up at some point. So a couple drops, and it's just going to really give that more realistic rum flavor. This does have kind of a rum element to it, but this is just pure raw rum. Fairly concentrated, so you don't need to use a lot, but it really does help kind of develop that flavor. And then with all the other stuff I've taught you, you can expand these recipes however you want. And they end up tasting fantastic. And it's just fun to play with. So as I mentioned, you use it for cooking in place of vanilla extract. And you can also use it in drinks. So you can make a birthday cake soda if you're so inclined. And just all the techniques I've showed you, just follow them. 
using these recipes and it will come out. So that's all I have to say today. I'll post some of the information over on Patreon. Again, if you're interested in supporting this channel, Patreon's the way to do it. This is a very niche topic, so it doesn't get a lot of views on YouTube. But on Patreon, I do try to go the extra mile and give you some better information to make better drinks. And all of these things are fantastic to work with because you know, you're not limited by what's commercially available. You're limited by your imagination on this part. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.